Hey guys, my Jeffrey's here, and welcome to episode 149 of You Don't Win Anything with Kids. Uh, what did we do in the last episode? I believe we played against. It was either Newcastle or Northampton. Might have been Northampton. I can't remember. In fact, it was Northampton. I do remember. Because we just about. We lost 5 4 four on the day, but because we won 2 1 the game before, we won on away goals. So we're through to the final. Uh, since then, we lost 2 1 to Bolton. With, we scored first, I think, goal from Wilson, but then they scored twice, obviously. Uh, we then beat Chesterfield 3-2 with a goal from Marshall and two from Wilson. And then we beat Wickham 3-2 with a goal from Connor and two from Morgan, one of which was in the 93rd minute to make it 3-2. Um, I'm disappointed with these results, to be honest, because, again, the last clean sheet was right the way back here against Swindon. Since then, we haven't kept a clean sheet at all. Conceding four against Northampton was bad. Twice against Chesterfield and Wickham is also bad. Bolton I can kind of accept because, you know, ex-Premier League team, they might still have a couple of those players in their team. So, that one I'm not too bothered about. And obviously Newcastle, again, Premier League team. Very, very good Premier League team on this game. So, uh, I'm not too bothered about that. We need to work on keeping clean sheets, though. And that says to me that our defence needs a bit of rebuilding over the summer. So, I'll be looking to do that at the end of the season. Uh, in the meantime, we have a match against Charlton. I'm going to make a couple of changes to the lineup. Although Morgan scored twice in the last game, his uh, uh, condition is 87%, so I'm going to bring him out. I'm also going to bring Jones out for a similar reason. Who can I bring in? I can bring in Hughes. Still haven't learned to pronounce his name. Hughes, Hughes, House, something like that. Um, we'll put Hogan in at centre back instead of Cartwright. And I want to bring out McConnor and Mantum, I think, because they're both looking a bit tired. I can put Delamond in instead of Mantum. And I can put Forster Kasky in instead of McConnor. We're taking a bit of a gamble here. It's a big, big, big switcheroo going on. Uh, let's give Marvo his debut in place of Lopez. And let's put Bobo on instead of Thompson. I think, apart from that, I'm happy. Uh, I also want to put Keith Wilson... In fact, hang on. Let's put Peter Wilson back in the lineup instead of Campbell. And I want to put Keith Wilson on the bench instead of Morgan. Now I'm happy. Right, so lineup is Quintarka, uh, Hughes, Howlett, Mundell, Hogan, Via, Forster, Kasky, Delamond, Marvo, Bobo, Wilson, and Vukic. That's P. Wilson. We'll give Marvo his squad number of 42. That's a very high number. That's a very, very high number. Very high number. We've got a lot of players in our squad who actually play and therefore have been given a squad number. We might have to look at reducing that um, over the summer as well. Get rid of a couple of Deadwood players. Okay, kick off. Here we go. Uh, like I said, looking to keep a clean sheet. I'm not sure if Hogan will help us do that or not because... He does have a reputation for picking up red cards. So uh, we'll see how he gets on. Um, also looking to score early and try and, and gain a, a good lead early on. Sort of like a two-goal lead within the first 30 minutes, let's say. Realistic target. Um, perfectly doable for us. That was a bad challenge from Hogan. And Moley could have done better with that. Uh, that was a really bad start from Hogan. I'm looking for him to make an impression and uh, impress me today. And so far, if he's making challenges like that, and Howlett Mundell caught out as well, that that's the Hogan I like. The one who covers his partner when uh, mistakes are made. That's the one I prefer to see, rather than the one who gets sent off and makes silly mistakes which lead to goals. Um, we are actually struggling to hold on to the ball at the moment. <clears throat> we have got a few fringe players in the team, as you've seen. So, you'd still think from training, though, that they'd be able to work together as a team. And at the moment, they're just not managing to do that. Uh, I mean, let's look at the actual changes we have made. Delamond, he's a first-teamer normally. He's missed out recently for reasons I've explained in previous videos. But normally he's a first-teamer, and he knows this team well, because he's been here since the start. So it's not like he can't play. Uh, Marvo making his debut, I can accept that one. Uh, Vukic, he does make mistakes from time to time. Bobo's in the same bracket as Delamond, normal first-teamer, should know better. 
Forster Kasky, although he's only just joined us now, he was on loan with us last season. So again, he knows the team almost inside out. Uh, Hus is the weak link, I would say, in that he's new to the team. He's being played out of position anyway, because although he can play left back, I think he prefers to play centre back or right back, because that's where he gets placed quite a lot in other teams that I've seen him in. Um, and Hogan, who is always a weak link in our team, in fairness, because he always gets sent off or makes a mistake. But I constantly willing to give him chances because one day he will just hit maturity and everything will make sense. He'll become a good player very, very quickly. Right, Marvo, is he going to hit it? No, he's not. He's going to give it to Forster Kasky, into Howlett Mundell, shot blocked. We need to put a different defender there. I might see if I can do that in the tactics. Min oh, my God. Why have we not got anyone back on the halfway line? How has Wagstaff missed that? <laughs> oh, my. Right, I'm going to have to have a good, long, hard look at this. After this match, tactics screen. Why did we not have anyone back on the halfway line? And why, oh, why, oh, why? Do we keep laying it off to a centre back in the middle of the box? That could have been a different story if that was a Delamond or a Bobo or, you know, a, a push a force to Kasky in the middle. But it was Howlett Mundell, and it's nearly always Howlett Mundell. And I'm sure one day he'll score one. But you've got to factor in the hundreds and hundreds of efforts he'll have before that to get that one on target that goes in. And it's a waste. It's a real waste. You make these chances, you kind of want to put them away. And at the moment, we're just feeding it straight to the the defence who then starts the counter-attack which you saw um, Wagstaff could have scored it that looked like a bit of a glitch then the guy who just headed the ball wide suddenly ran 10 yards in a second which is a bit unrealistic from a standing start anyway right half time it's 0-0 nil -nil. Um, what can I change what can I change well Wilson's not having a good game I might bring Keith Wilson on and then swap Vukic with Keith. See what that does. Uh, Marvo. Could I bring him off? I'll give him a little bit longer. See how he gets on. I think I'm good for the subs now. I'm going to the second half. I want to give Marvo a chance. Because in real life. He is a good player. Newcastle haven't given him any sniff this season. Which I think is a bit unfair. Because uh, last season. Particularly when he played for us. We tended to do okay. And the season before when we finished fifth, he did very, very good for us. I think he was in that team. I'm sure he was in that team. I might have got that wrong. But last season, he did okay for us. He was good with set pieces. Good with free kicks. Nearly always found someone with a delivery. Yes! I'll interrupt myself for a second. That's gone down as a camp own goal, but I'm giving that to Wilson. Because he did all the work there. Ball around the corner from Vukic was actually a pretty good pass in the hole. How's that an own goal from camp? Wilson slid in, got it off Holmes, the ball was rolling over the line anyway, and all camp did was just knock it slightly to the left as it went past him. That's not an own goal, that's a Wilson goal. They should have an appeal system for that. The uh, dubious goal panel, that kind of thing. See if Sports Interactive put that in for next season. They'll have to put that on the wish list. Right, Wagstaff with another counter attacking opportunity. Out to Moley. Eccleston through for Wagstaff. Howlett Mundell did well to stand his ground first time round. Hogan wins it the second time. Eccleston sneaks in behind. Header from Moley hits the post and goes behind. That was a comedy of errors, really, because we were winning the ball pretty decently. And then, because someone else tries to win the ball pretty decently as well, we end up giving the ball straight back to them, which is not very good. And that's not very good either. David Moley, 11th goal of the season for him. Congratulations to him, but crap for us. What the hell was Quintarka doing? Let's watch this in the old highlights, shall we? Replay. So ball comes in from Edwards. That doesn't look very threatening. That looks like it's either going to go out for a goal kick or keeper's ball. Quintarka then palms it up into the air. And despite the fact we have two men, one on each post, neither of them got across and headed that away. Make of that what you will. Personally, I think that's very, very poor. Um, so now we're one all, and we've got to fight to get back into the lead again. Right, Delamond, out wide to Bobo. Over the top to Villa. Delivers it f sort of first time. Strange the keeper's hands. Sub time. Forster Kasky coming off. Pugliese coming on. Confirm. 
we need to get our midfield to sit back a little bit more and help our defence out. And Forster Kasky's not having the best game of his career. He's also a little bit tired out there. He's got a 6.6 .6 rating, but personally I think it's a little bit lower than that. Just a little bit, not by much. Right, Moli takes a shot straight at Quintarco, although the way Quintarco's playing at the moment, that could have easily gone in. He's made a few mistakes recently, goalie. Um, I've been a bit disappointed with some of his performances, and with keepers like O'Brien and King waiting in the wings, it might not be long before Quintarco's sat on the bench for a little bit. Do a, a Pellegrini and drop your first choice keeper for a, a few weeks. Make him realise that he's not guaranteed first choice every week just because he turns up. That's what you got to do in football, unfortunately. You've got to teach your players a lesson from time to time. Right, Wilson with the cross. Bobo with the header, and it's just wide. That was unlucky. Good cross in from the right-hand side from uh, Wilson. He does that a lot. He gets into those wide areas, makes things happen. Um, again, it might not be long before he's partnering his brother up front if Morgan starts having a bit of a blip, or he could be partnering Morgan up front if his brother starts having a blip. It's why we have big squads, because you can make lots of changes. That is a fantastic ball from Wilson to Marvo. And he went f for the shot. He had four in the box he could have aimed for. A little bit disappointed he didn't try and cut that one back, actually. But that was a really good floated ball over the top from uh, Keith Wilson there. Did very, very well to play in his man. Howlett Mundell is looking tired out there, and so is Marvo. Do I take the gamble and go for the attacking option? Or do I shore up the defence? Tell you what, Howlett Mundell's 6.8 uh, and Marvo is 6.3. And he did just take that selfish shot. So I'm going to bring Grant on. I'm going to swap Grant and Bobo. So Bobo's coming in from the left-hand side now. And Grant's going to use his pace down the right. And we got seven minutes. We had seven minutes. We haven't got seven minutes anymore. This time is flying. I have sped up how fast these matches go now to try and make these episodes a little bit shorter. Although so far it doesn't seem to actually be working. So I might have to have another look at that. Um, I just want to make these episodes a little bit shorter and a little bit sweeter. Trying to revamp the series, create popularity. That's a mistake from Hogan that I was talking about. That could be him in trouble. I'm hoping for a yellow, but it could easily be worse. What's it going to be? It's red. Every game. Every game he plays. That's not good. That is not good. And I missed the opportunity to take the gamble. Well, it wasn't the gamble. I missed the opportunity to show up the defence. Although we have got Pugliese, who can play centre-back, I believe. Where is his... Yeah, he can. So we'll slot him into that slot there. Uh, and I guess we'll have to do that. Delamond is looking shattered as well. So, yeah. Um, I mean, we could still win. There's nothing saying we can't win unless time runs out. But defensive-wise, we're very, very vulnerable now. And we were very vulnerable for Charlton's equaliser, so there's nothing to say that we can't concede a, a losing goal. Just need our team to defend. That's better from Quintarka. Made the decision early, came out, claimed the ball. Did well. Pugliese pumps it forward. Uh, before Grant can have any chance for a touch on it, the full-time whistle blows. We got away with that one a little bit. We got a little bit lucky. Right, I believe we have... Portsmouth at home in the next game and we do and that's one that I'd like to cover as well so we'll come back and we'll do that game might then skip out Bristol Rovers in fact might skip out all of these might come back for the crew games we'll do Portsmouth and then we'll do crew I think okay guys all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to click the subscribe button if you have already subscribed to my channel thank you guys for your continued support and until next time I will see you soon Thank you.